Welcome to my blog, y'all. This is David Locke, and this is Boots and Bow Ties. And one thing I started in my blog is a blog every two or three weeks about the great gardens of the world. Because as you travel the world, whether you travel the world internationally or you travel the world here in the United States, if you're a garden enthusiast, if you're someone who likes to get your hands in the dirt, or if you're just someone who loves to go explore gardens, I want you to know some of the things that might be in your backyard. All of us studied Thomas Jefferson and Monticello, but what you might not know is that Headlights and Thomas Jefferson have a connection. In the 1930s, when Monticello was being renovated and uh, modern archaeological techniques didn't exist, what the Garden Club of Virginia did was they lined cars up in Jefferson's backyard, shone lights onto the uh, landscape of Monticello and were able to see where the paths were. And that's how the Garden Club of Virginia went about restoring Monticello. My wife and I were in that area back our first year of marriage, and I had studied Monticello as an interior design student in architecture. And of course, I wanted to go for the architecture and I wanted to go for the history that was there. But what I didn't realize is what an amazing garden Monticello is. Not only are there large expanses of formal beds, but also there are large vegetable gardens as Monticello was a full working plantation. And also Jefferson, ever being the scientist, took detailed readings of the weather, and he took detailed notes on his garden. Um, there are even correspondence with him and his daughters when he was in Washington with his granddaughters wanting to know what was in bloom. And so if you're ever in Northern Virginia, make sure you go to Monticello. It's an amazing place to see. It's full of history. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's also a great place to see architecture. But one of the things you don't want to neglect is the gardens, and you want to make sure you go through those. And one interesting fact, other than the headlights being used, is that Thomas Jefferson was one of the first people to experiment with grapevines here in the United States. So check out my blog, a little bit of information, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to Boots and Bowties on our website at bootsandbowties.com. Click the little black subscribe button and enter your email, and you'll get an email once a week with gardening tips and uh, a recipe at least once a week. Again, David Locke, Boots and Bowties. See y'all soon.